My name is Jasmine, um, I'm here today at the London School of Mosaic and I'm going to be making a tiny mosaic of my own. Um, I'm really excited, I've never done anything like this before, so let's go! Hello! <laughs> So this is London School of Mosaic's main studio and we've got two side studios here. This is a studio where a lot of our community workshops happen and family workshops. And what you see here is a um, short course happening right now. So in this studio we call this English Mosaic Studio. So we work with uh, modern mosaic techniques here. They do, no, they do it all the time, they just spar out of control. I don't think I've gotten used to the um gotten used to it as yet. What do you think about the class? Um, it's very therapeutic. I feel like it makes you look at an image differently because you have to break it up and then think about what is gonna go where. Mm. Um I think if I did it again, I'd definitely choose a simpler image, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And everyone in the class is really nice and open and gives you really good advice as well. So I um, would we'll definitely do it again with my own money. <laughs> <laughs> and how does uh, mosaic uh, art differ to like other art disciplines that you've kind of... Um, it's very... How would I say? Um, it's a thought process, so I feel like with drawing or any other kind of art forms, I guess, drawing is very free, it's just what comes out naturally, but with this it's very, you have to think about what the end result is going to look like, and a lot of the time you're taught not to do that in art, like especially, like I know at uni they kind of like, don't think about what the end result is going to be, like let the process carry you, so I feel like this is a mixture of letting the process carry you in terms of, you know, what looks good and what doesn't, but at the same time thinking about how your end image is going to look. Um, so yeah, it's very complex, but very enjoyable <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I mean, we've been running mosaic classes for more than six years, previously at a studio called South Bank Mosaics in uh, Waterloo. And then we've moved here to London School of Mosaic in September 2017, where we've set up a range of new classes with mosaic um, traditional techniques as well as um, the modern techniques that we teach as well. There's no sort of serious uh, study of mosaic and it is a major art form. It's not actually recognized in Britain as an art, as a craft or even a traditional craft, which is incredible. The word mosaic means muse of art. I remember um, I went to this like money saving workshop. Maybe we can extra try again. No, it was it was really really good. But the guy he said um, this man had been like jobless for so long, and he was like, oh like what should I do? And they sent him on this course. They were like, oh do this course. And I think it was something to do with violin strings. So it was fixing violin strings, and I was learning to do like really really well. And eventually he got into a job that got paid really, really well just because he was good at that specific skill that no one else like could probably do. So it's just about finding your niche. Like it's, it's really hard because I feel like even now like there's such a saturation of artists all doing the same thing. Um, especially like young artists and illustrators and stuff like that, like all making collectives and designs and stuff. So you've really got to navigate like who your people are, like, what is it that your work is trying to say and who's going to understand and relate to that. Okay, and you can peel it now from this side, but just uh, peel it so that it's um, at this sort of angle and when you feel it sticks too much, sometimes a piece might come out like this one, so we need to wait a tiny bit more or sometimes we have to put um, a tweezer there to hold it. So you've got 
grabs it from the back and we have to be very gentle. Like the okay, more simple. I can't believe I made it. <laughs> I just want to do more now. <laughs> like just seeing it, like once you've seen it and it's finished, it's kind of like it's like instant inspiration. This is my this is my time. I might tag her on here and see if she sees. <laughs> no, I won't do that. That's my. <laughs> I'm so dead. Like one of those like rappers, and they're just like. Yeah. My name is Lil J. <laughs> uh, I feel like learn everything, like learn as much as you can, just like for knowledge purposes. You might always want to change and do something else in the future. Once you get good at something, like you know, you can kind of get good at it. Like I feel like right now, I don't have anything that I'm just like, yeah, I'm amazing at this. So I, I feel like I was good at painting for a couple of years, but that was only because I was doing it constantly, like day in, day out, I was painting. I tried to paint something the other day, I was like, what am I doing? I was so upset, I was like, what is going on? This was all in my head like a few years ago. So, that was, that was tough, it hurt me emotionally. I was broken that night. <laughs> so this is my finished piece from the Mosaic Workshop. Um, I have to say, I did enjoy it quite a lot. It's very therapeutic, you don't need any you know, serious skills coming to do it, which I think can put a lot of people off. Um, so if you have the chance to definitely go and do something like this. It was it was really eye-opening, I think, as a workshop, because I feel like even going to uni, there's certain stuff you don't even think about using. And you know, you see mosaics everywhere, like when you pass under bridges and stuff like that, but you never like stop and think, oh my god, like someone actually made that. So it was interesting to actually be a part of that experience. This, I know this is ceramic, what is this again? Uh, yeah, this is ceramic, oh, this and is ceramic. Um, the shiny pieces in color um, is vitreous glass. Vitreous glass. And this is a just normal standard mirror. Okay. That's the thing, you get really precious about it, like when you come across a piece and it's just like, oh my god, this is beautiful, I want to use this. You just find a way to make it fit, even if it doesn't. Um, so it's like these ones and like these like kind of bronzy ones. It's trapped under the glue. These bronzy ones here, this purple one, I really like. And then this little bit of pink here. Because it doesn't really go with like the colour scheme of the of the skin too much. But I was like it would give it a nice kind of like pop. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much to the London School of Mosaic for having us. Thank you so much to Sylvie for leading the class. I had a fantastic time. If anyone's interested in doing a mosaic of their own, please check these guys out and I'll see you in the next video.